Amen. Praise the Lord, IPC Praise family. The Lord. Uh, it's so good to be here with you this evening. In the park. <laughs> in, the, <laughs> I guess you could say it's a park setting, but it yeah. sure don't look like a park from my view. <laughs> uh, we're here to talk about May 31st. Yeah, Memorial Weekend. No, that's Pentecost Sunday. Memorial oh. Weekend is the 24th. So we <laughs> can talk. We can talk about the 24th. Do we need to start over? No, we can keep going. Okay. We're good. So you want to talk about the 24th first or the 31st first? Oh yeah, let's talk about the 24th. All right, let's talk about the 24th, which is Memorial Day weekend. Next Sunday, this Sunday. Right. So coming up this Sunday, we're going to do something special. We're going to be in the park. In the IPC backyard. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> we're trying to create the feel of the park. Right. We're At least to get a little bit of memory. Right, to bring back to where we're usually in the park on Memorial Day weekend, but uh, we will not be there. So we're going to have to create a park-like environment. So there's good news and bad news. <laughs> yeah. The bad news is you're not going to be in the park. The good news is we got a refund on our deposit. <laughs> well, there we go. We don't have to pay for the park this year. All right. Yeah, we got the money back. All right. Um, but we are going to be doing something special for our veterans on, on that Sunday, on the 24th. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So we're going to have a drive through parade on the church parking lot to honor and say thank you to our veterans, our active military, and our first responders. And so if you fall into any one of those categories of first responders, veteran, or active military, we want you to come to the church parking lot so the church family can drive through, have their posters and banners, and show, them how, show you how much we love you and appreciate you. And that's going to be happening between 12 and 1. Uh, on Sunday, so during the same time as drive through prayer and offering. And if you want to still participate in drive through prayer and offering, you can go through the parade, come back around, and participate in the drive through prayer and offering. And that's going to be Sunday. Also, Holy Roast is going to be open. And celebrating Memorial Day. Yes, as a church family. Yeah, our national holiday. A national holiday. Reflecting on those that's passed and gone on that primarily gave their lives so that we could enjoy the freedoms of Americans. We don't want to take that for granted. No, no. But as I think about Memorial Day, the single greatest reflection is the resurrection. I know we did Easter, but yeah. Memorial Day is when Jesus is the one that truly memorialized yes. the grave and the resurrection. So we do in memory of Him of and course. Thanksgiving Everything. of His sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, that we may live. He died so we may live. We get to memorialize a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Just make it a whole day of memory and celebration. Yeah. Yes. Uh, past memories and where God's brought us from, and but more importantly, even where God is taking us. Yes. And we are grateful for America, and there will be special prayers for our country, special prayers for those that are in active service, those that are defending us right now. Amen. And so we reflect on all these things and consider them each and every one important. Amen. Yes, so that's going to be a very special day on the 24th. Uh, you don't want to miss it. We are going to be having a very special service. Uh, and it will be kind of like a park-like setting that we will be enjoying as we enter into an atmosphere of worship and uh, hear from the Word of the Lord. And so it's going to be a great day. And then the following Sunday on May 31st, um, we're, we got some exciting things to tell you, but... Uh, we will not be having service that day in the sanctuary. Uh, we'll still be online, we'll still be doing a live broadcast, uh, but we're going to be doing something special for you uh, within the church parameters. Something so special, as I announced before, we're opening the church, but we really are <laughs> opening the church. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and that is with a walkthrough, open house walkthrough. Has it been a while since you've been in the house of God? Yeah. It's going to be glorious. And of course, we're going to do safe distancing and uh, social distancing and following all the rules. But we'll be able to come in and uh, in, in groups and, uh, and maintain six feet apart. And there'll be special places at the altar. If you want to spend time at the altar, there'll be music and celebration in the auditorium. And as long as you want to stay in the auditorium, you can. If, if you know people need the Holy Ghost, bring them. Yes. Bring them into the auditorium. And it may be that we'll be having ministers kind of lead groups through. We haven't quite worked out all the logistics, but looking forward to a walk through, walk up to the altar, walk behind those that are standing at the altar, walk on out, make your way out to have the restrooms open with a custodian at each restroom and and thereby cleaning the restroom after every usage and maintaining all the sanitary options and necessities as well as the cleaning beforehand 
And uh, then, of course, disclaimer, you come at your own risk. <laughs> yes. Come you may get slain risk. in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> we pray. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, so that's going to be happening at the same time as our drive through prayer and offering 12 to 1, as well as Holy Roast will be open. Uh, but we ask that you please admonish and adhere to all the practices that we're going to have to put in place. Yes. Um, we don't want to do this, but we are adhering to uh, those who are in government positions and trying to do our part to continue to flatten the curve of this virus during this season. So we so, read that in the Bible, right? Romans 3, chapter 13. Yes. That, that when we submit to the authorities, we're really submitting to God. Amen. Because God's the one that gave the authority, the authority that they have and if you don't like their authority you pray for them that's right <laughs> pray that god either heal them or hurt them. i mean no no you, you heal pray. them or move them out <laughs> yes so um, and so we do need to pray for our country and really i kind of said it tongue in cheek about disclaimer but if you're sick if you're elderly if there's any yeah. immune compromise situation take all that in consideration and uh, this is at your own risk. And if you have any concerns, please find, we'll be able to open up the church later Amen. without having such concerns. And we'll look forward to that day too. Yes, yes. yes. But for the 31st, you'll just do a walkthrough. If you want to participate, you're welcome to walk through, experience some of the changes that we've done at the church. Um, and then walk on out, kind of as pastors mentioned, a walk Pentecost through. Sunday walk celebration, through. walk through, <laughs> anticipating the Holy Ghost being Amen. poured out as we celebrate the birth of the church. Yes, if you know somebody that needs the Holy Ghost, bring them. We'll pray with them while they're in the car. We'll pray for you <laughs> and we will lay authority upon you and then you'll turn around and lay your hands upon them and they'll speak in Praise tongues God. and the Spirit gives them the utterance. And so we're going to have a great time. Please, if you know somebody that needs the Holy Ghost, is seeking for the Holy Ghost, yeah. bring them to the parking lot prayer drive through. And also um, we can open the church. And if somebody really, really anticipates receiving the Holy and they're having a struggle, we can put on gloves and we can pray for people and maintaining all the, all the various uh, <laughs> yeah. practices that practices. we have to do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So that's the next two weeks coming up this Sunday and the following Sunday. And thank you so much for working with us and being patient through this whole process. Again, we're trying to operate in as much wisdom as possible as we care for your souls, your physical well-being, your emotional, mental, everything. We love you and everything we're doing is just, we believe in your best interest as we're trying to move forward and uh, decipher all the pathways that lay before the church family going forward from this point. So. And in best interest, we're going to pray over the offering and the tithe that God bless you Many of you... Uh, no, we're not. This is later. We're just doing an announcement right now. You're okay. doing the offering after I think this. get that off. <laughs> Why don't we just pray for this announcement and then we can move on. <laughs> you pray for the announcement. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you see, Pastor, he's jumping the gun. He's getting ahead because he's got to do something after this. <laughs> All right, we're going to pray right now. Pray that God continue to lead us and guide us. Do help so us, Lord. The Lord's going to help us. He is helping us process and get through all do this. Do help us. I do want to give a testimony, and that is to date, we have baptized 17 people in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Christ for the remission of sins since the Hallelujah. beginning of the coronavirus, March 17th. Thank you, Jesus. And the lockdowns that we've experienced. Thank you, so Jesus. So we are seeing growth. Yes. And so thank the Lord. Thank God most of those receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. And so we're seeing God still move Praise even God. in the midst of all this. And Hallelujah. So he's still God. We're excited for that. Yes. Yeah, he's still God. Amen. So we're going to pray right now. We're just going to continue to pray that God grant us with wisdom as we move forward oh, in this God. new situation. I mean, let's pray. Mighty Lord God. God, we thank you, Jesus, for everything that you've done for our church family. And God, we thank you for the peace that we even feel right now, Lord, as a unified body. God, that we are moving forward, Jesus, in faith and believing, Lord, thank that you, you are in complete control. And God, we just want to do everything right and according to your purpose in our lives. God, I want to thank you personally right now, Jesus, for preparing us long before this ever happened. Lord, you gave us the urge and the desire to go online and have a much stronger online presence. Oh, thank, you, Lord. thank you for that, God. Thank you for preparing us for this thank season you, and this moment, God, and in our world. Thank and thank you for, you for the, the growth that we've seen, Jesus. Thank you for Continue the to family. lead this church family, God 
God and wisdom and guidance Precious and direction that only God. your spirit can provide. Precious thank Lord. you, Lord, for being with us, Jesus. Families and thank and you, God, for continuing to anoint this church family for a greater divine purpose Blessed that you have in our future, God. Blessed We're moving Jesus. forward, Lord, believing, God, that there's greater times in front of us. And, God, there's still Jesus. a great outpour coming. We thank you, Lord, for doing all these great things in our family, Jesus. And thank you for leading and guiding us according to your purpose. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God.